Nashville, Tennessee is a city known for many different things, but the tastiest of these has to be its hot chicken. If you're a fan of hot chicken, there's arguably no greater place in the world to find it than in the city of Nashville. Join Vucation as we take a look at where you can find the best hot chicken in Nashville, Tennessee. Hattie B's Hot Chicken If your strategy for finding the best hot chicken in Nashville is to simply follow the crowds, you're inarguably going to come to Hattie B's Hot Chicken. Since opening in 2012, the joint has slowly overtaken much of the competition in the eyes of locals and tourists alike. You're liable to find lines going around the block when you arrive at Hattie B's, and you may wonder if the wait will be worth it. As the repeat customers and continued popularity of the business would suggest, it certainly is. The hot chicken found at Hattie B's is some of the best around, and unique regional sides like banana pudding, collard greens, and hot pimento mac and cheese round out the southern dining experience. While tourists will certainly get a good meal there, Many don't realize the restaurant is actually a sibling of sorts to another Nashville hot chicken joint called Bishop's Meat and Three. It provides a much more old-fashioned experience than Hattie B's, and we'll take a look at it next. Bishop's Meat and Three Located just outside Nashville, Bishop's Meat and Three has been serving up southern-style food for longer than Hattie B's has been around. Hot chicken wasn't even originally on Bishop's menu. It began serving hot chicken later on and was taken aback by its popularity. Bishop's Meat and Three then gradually began to serve hot chicken more and more until eventually it began serving it every day. Further down the line, Bishop's Hot Chicken got so popular that the Bishop family decided to expand. Hence, Hattie B's Hot Chicken was born. While Hattie B's Hot Chicken is the more popular of the two, there's no denying that Bishop's is still the favorite of many Nashville traditionalists. The fact that it's more old-fashioned and less crowded only makes it that much more beloved. There are many Nashville locals who consider Bishop's Meat and Three to be the cream of the crop when it comes to restaurants in Nashville serving hot chicken. Slow Burn Hot Chicken Another hot chicken joint currently considered to be amongst the best of the best is Slow Burn Hot Chicken. Slow Burn offers hot chicken at a variety of different heat levels, with the lowest being sprinkle heat and the highest being the end. This heat spectrum may seem intimidating at first, but you can trust Slow Burn to go easy on those who ask for just a little spice. Even those who order towards the end on the restaurant's heat spectrum are liable to experience just as much satisfying flavor as they are excruciating heat. It's not uncommon to hear diners use words like immaculate when referring to the flavor of the cuisine. Slow Burn also offers other regional fare like seafood, pork chops, and hot fish. While some Nashville hot chicken joints are notorious for putting an emphasis on heat over flavor, Slow Burn Hot Chicken successfully attempts to provide the perfect balance. Because of this, the restaurant is slowly overtaking legendary hot chicken restaurants like Bishop's Meat and Three in the eyes of locals. There are a growing number of people who consider Slow Burn Hot Chicken to offer the preeminent hot chicken experience in the Nashville area, and you might become one of them. Before we tell you more, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Prince's Hot Chicken Shack Another restaurant you're liable to come across if you simply follow the crowds is Prince's Hot Chicken Shack. However, Prince's has Hattie B's beat because it's been open for about six decades longer. Hattie B's may be the newest joint that crowds line up for, but Prince's Hot Chicken Shack has been doing it for 70 years. Onlookers may gawk at the crowds and wonder if it's worth the wait, but again, it certainly is. That is, if you like your chicken hot, tasty, and fresh as can be. Due to its legendary status, the restaurant's locations only seem to get more popular and crowded as time goes on. Still, the restaurant continues to provide an authentic hot chicken experience for both Nashville locals and tourists visiting the area. Regardless of how many new hot chicken joints open up and steal the spotlight, Prince's Hot Chicken Shack will certainly retain its status as the granddaddy of all Nashville hot chicken joints. Granddaddy's Famous Hot Chicken Granddaddy's Famous Hot Chicken is another hot chicken joint located slightly outside of Nashville, though the dining experience it offers is representative of the city to its core. It's an old-fashioned and family-friendly chicken joint that admirably aims to offer great hot chicken at reasonable prices. It also offers some unique dishes like hot chicken spring rolls, loaded baked potatoes, and deep-fried hot dogs. If you're looking for southern-style cuisine in a casual atmosphere, Granddaddy's famous hot chicken is hard to beat. 400 Degrees 
Another one of the more recent additions to Nashville's ever-growing oeuvre of hot chicken restaurants is 400 Degrees. The name of the restaurant comes from the highest level of spice offered on its unique heat rating system, which goes by degrees. Rest assured, when you order the hottest chicken that 400 Degrees offers, you'll certainly feel like the temperature of your mouth has been raised to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Thankfully, it's all only in your taste buds. 400 Degrees has been around for well over a decade, and it's slowly becoming more and more popular as time goes on. One criticism people have is that the food is too heavy, as its signature hot chicken is deep-fried instead of fried on the skillet. However, when it comes to southern-style hot chicken, calling something too heavy is often seen as an odd critique. Some people may consider 400 Degrees to be the best chicken joint in town, for the same reason others consider it to be a little too much. So as long as you know what you're getting into, 400 Degrees offers a fantastically fattening dining experience. Big Shakes Hot Chicken and Fish Big Shakes is another restaurant in Nashville that offers hot chicken and fish. The restaurant has a variety of locations, all of which are located just outside the city. It's become a favorite amongst locals thanks to its incredibly generous portions. This is certainly not the restaurant to go to if you're looking to eat modestly. Southern style excess is the name of the game when it comes to Big Shakes, and the restaurant makes good on that promise. Red 615 Kitchen Many of these popular joints like to keep things old-fashioned, but Red 615 Kitchen is one of the restaurants that tries to do something interesting with its hot chicken. This seems to have paid off for the restaurant, as customers routinely rave about the hot chicken's decidedly different, yet still incredibly savory flavor. It comes from founder Eric White's personal recipe, which involves buttermilk, a brine of hot sauce, and a secret mix of spicy seasonings. To top it all off, the chicken is cooked in the chef's own signature blend of lard. Subculture Urban Cuisine and Cafe Another of the more modern restaurants attempting to serve classic Nashville hot chicken with a twist is Subculture Urban Cuisine and Cafe. It offers dishes such as hot chicken with waffles, hot chicken ramen, and hot chicken tacos. It also doubles as a cafe. Whether you're looking to get some old-fashioned hot chicken served in a unique way, get a cup of coffee, or simply soak in some unique Nashville culture, Subculture Urban Cuisine and Cafe has you covered. The restaurant also uses local ingredients. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorite of Nashville's hot chicken joints? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.